later on in Sports Center. Rich? No one's going to catch the Chicago Bulls in the Central Division. Second place Indiana is 19 games out for crying out loud. But if the Toronto Raptors wanted to catch the Bulls, they'd probably need another two seasons to do so. Chicago visited Toronto Sunday, boasting a 42 and a half game lead over the expansion Raptors. North of the border we go, and a lot of Chicago fans making a trip up north. Fourth quarter Raptors lead by one. Damon Stoudemire hits the three-pointer. He had 30 points. The Bulls, of course, would look to Michael Jordan down the stretch. Raptors lead 101-98. Jordan, the turnaround jumper. Money. 101-100. Raptors lead Jordan, the pull-up jumper. The Bulls lead by one. The Raptors have a one-point lead again, and Jordan, the fall-away jumper, gets it. Bulls lead by one again. 104-103, but Toronto would answer. Trailing by two. Stoudemire drives. The dish to Oliver Miller for the jam. We're tied at 106. The, ball, the Bulls go back to Jordan. The drive, the fadeaway jumper. Oh, 108-106. Bulls lead. Jordan had 36 points. Toronto, Oliver Miller to Tracy Murray. The easy lay-in. Tied at 108. Under 30 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Jordan partially blocked by Doug Christie. And Jordan fouls O. Miller. Miller would hit only one of two free throws. Raptors up 109-108. Bulls, one last chance. Jordan, the drive. Loses the handle. Steve Kerr gets it to Scotty. Scotty gets it to Kerr. A wide open look. No. Jordan gets the rebound, puts it up. Off glass, but no shot. No shot. Time expires, and the Raptors win 109 108. Only 18 games this year, Toronto's won, but they can play with the best of them. They beat Seattle and Orlando, too. The Raptors were 0 32, and they shot worse than their opponent until today. The Bulls wind up with 69 wins. Remember this day. Spurs at Pacers. Ooh, David Robinson and the Spurs have won 12 straight. The Admiral in the first quarter calls Rick Smith's on deck. 15 first half points for David. Dale Davis answers with the dunk over David. But the Admiral would have none of that again telling Dale. Now, David Robinson Dale a bit frustrated. Giving David a little love tap. Robinson leg whips him back. That's not in his nature. Back to the game. Reggie Miller hits the long J. Pacers down three at the half. Third quarter. Reggie. Down on the blocks, jostling for position with A.J. Called for an offensive foul, slams the ball in his disgust. That's his second technical and the gate. He scored 12 in the game. Pacers try to rally. Mark Jackson, nice look to Travis Best. Pacers down six after three, but that's when Chuck Person took over. The rifleman scoreless through the first three quarters. It's one and two. And oh, here you know what's coming. Another three-pointer. His third triple of the quarter. The Spurs cruise from there. 188. So 13 isn't so unlucky for the Spurs. The Admiral's 22.13 rebound performance, his 50th double-double on the season. The Rifleman's three threes came in a key 15-2 fourth quarter run. The Pacers have lost seven of their last eight. So what do they say about March in like a lion? Dating back to last season, the Spurs have won 22 straight March games. They're averaging points per game. Picks up in every a big way every March. San Antonio's won 13 straight and have won four more games to go. They have four more games to go this month, is what I meant to say. The New York Knicks in Dallas, Michael Irvin making an appearance at the game. First quarter, Derek Harper rejection and the steal on Jason Kidd and the land. Five steals for Harper, 13 points. Then Kidd breaks Harper's assist record in Dallas. That dish to Popeye Jones is Kidd's 635th of the season, a new single season assist record for the Mavs. Second quarter, Anthony Mason banks hit with heads with David Wood. Ouch. He would leave the game. Second half, Knicks going a 22-0 run. Patrick Ewing, yes. 17 for Patrick in the third. 50-37, Knicks. Fourth quarter, Kidd misses the three. Harper gets the rebound and runs the floor with a spectacular move. Knicks up nine. Modest Mavs make a run down four late. Kidd with one of his 10 assists to Lauren Meyer. 79-77, Knicks, but Ewing too much. Baseline, yes. 36 for Ewing. Knicks up five. Then Kidd, another three misses. The Mavs were 9 of 34 from downtown. Ewing rebounds and gets it to John Starks, who finishes in most emphatic fashion. Knicks win it. 85-79. The Knicks now just a game behind Indiana for the coveted third seed in the conference. Dick Mata not in sync with the Mavs promotional department. It was Tony Dumas' jersey day Sunday. Apparently, only Mata decides when it's Tony Dumas' day, because Dumas didn't play. Didn't know I was...